Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yay, Dolly! <laughs> so today I am back with another grocery haul. This is a series of grocery hauls because what I've been doing is making my way around to different stores around town. We have like pretty much every grocery store here in Nashville. So I've kind of just been making my way around. So if you missed any of my previous ones, I've done like Trader Joe's, Publix, Whole Foods, Costco. I don't remember where else, but today, just like the title says, we are going to be doing Aldi, aren't we Zoe? So I'm gonna start going ahead and showing you everything we got. And I'm just gonna jump right in. So first things first, I got some asparagus. I have fallen in love with asparagus recently because the way that I have been cooking it and the way I've been preparing it has been like amazing. And actually, one of you guys left a tip recently on one of my videos that has been game changing. So when I made asparagus before, I used to lay it down flat and then I would cut the woody stems off. But then someone said, no, Nikki, you need to do each one individually and break it because it will break at different points at the spot where it's like tender, where the woody stem actually ends. So you end up having um, like each individual asparagus is more edible, like the entire thing, rather than like eating your way down to the bottom until you get to the woody part. That has been game changing. So I've been cooking my asparagus that way. I'm just putting olive oil and lemon juice and salt and pepper and um, some garlic powder and red chili flakes. And then when it's done, I squeeze a little more lemon juice on top and it's so good. So I love it. And since I learned that tip about the asparagus, I always go for the thickest, biggest asparagus possible um, because it's more meaty and it's just so good. So. Um, Dan grabbed these Savorites garlic and chives pita crackers at the end because we did get some hummus. Um, so I picked up this significantly spicy hummus. I am still trying to learn how to make my own hummus. I can do it. It's just not that great when I make it. And a lot of you guys gave me some tips on the last video that I'm going to try to implement, including peeling the chickpeas out of the can. Um, gosh, there were a lot of, there were a lot of tips. I don't even know where to begin, but you guys had all the tips. Um, so I'm going to try again, but I haven't tried since then. So he got this for this. Um, and yeah, I like hummus with carrots, with crackers on sandwiches. I like to make Mediterranean wraps with like artichoke hearts and grilled peppers. Um, and all of that jazz. I just, I love hummus. Hummus is the best. I'll put it on top of salad sometimes. I'll do like kale with hummus on top um, because the leaves from the kale are very thick and it's just a really great combo. So I'll yeah. some of that right now. There you go. Okay, so they did have some cilantro there. So I picked some of that up. Um, I, as you guys know, I don't even need to go over this. I'm a huge cilantro fan on everything, on salads, on sandwiches, on wraps on pasta salads, on literally everything. I love cilantro, obviously. Salsa, guacamole, the bomb. Speaking of salsa, I got two jars of salsa because I like to refill my, um, I don't even know, my cupboard with jars of salsa and canned goods and all of that. So I got this one, which I have tried before. This is organic habanero and ancient grain salsa. And the spice is obviously habanero pepper, um, but, it's really interesting because they also put things in here like, if I remember right, organic chia seeds, organic golden flax, organic quinoa, and amaranth and millet. So literally it's like grains in the salsa and it's pretty good if I remember right. And then I got from the same brand, Casa Mamita, um, mild chunky salsa in a bigger jar. So this one is not organic, um, but it's just kind of, once again, got nice basic ingredients. And yeah, salsa and chips, salsa in my guacamole, salsa for my Mexican bowls, burritos, eggs, all the salsa all the time. I love salsa. Um, so I saw these as we were walking around. These are sweet potato chips and I got them because they're non-GMO um, and they're very basic ingredients. It's literally just sweet potatoes, canola or safflower oil and sea salt. So I'm pretty interested to try these out. I love sweet potatoes. And I thought this was just like an interesting kind of um, chip. Yes, a shovel for all my 
salsa and other dips. Um, they did have some organic blackberries. Dan is a big blackberry fan. And so I just swooped them up because I like to make sure that we're getting a variety of produce. Even though I don't do a very good job, we do tend to stick to the same things all the time. I saw blackberries and was like, organic, we're gonna get those. So they had some fresh green beans. Um, this was not organic. And I'm actually, for all the produce that I got that wasn't organic, what I'm gonna do is I have this Thieves fruit and veggie soak. And so I'm just gonna fill up bowls of water with the veggie soak and soak the produce that is not organic. But I'm actually thinking of making green beans later today. I love my green beans with garlic, lots of lemon juice. I mean, kind of the same seasonings I put on everything. Garlic, lemon, olive oil, salt, pepper. Um, so, so good. We actually went and we did some shopping for our spring garden today and we got some yellow beans, which are like green beans, but yellow. So I'm super excited to try to grow these. But yeah, so I got this. Um, and then I picked up some just white mushrooms as well that I like in lasagnas pastas by themselves with some red wine and olive oil um with eggs like for omelets i just i love mushrooms they had a bag of organic pink lady apples and i've been eating lots of apples lately and so when i saw this swiped it up i like just having apples by themselves like i'll cut them up to be on the side with my breakfast or my lunch or my dinner um or sometimes i'll have them with some peanut butter but honestly most of the time i just have apples straight up sliced up like with my meal someone actually commented they're like it didn't really occur to me till watching your what i eat in a day videos to just like grab some fruit to go on the side with your meals and yeah, if your digestive system can handle that, I think it's a great way to get more fruit in. Some people can't because the way that your body breaks down food and like some people can't have certain foods mixed together, but I can and I've never noticed any like gastrointestinal issues from that. So yeah, I love, I love doing that. Um, and I also got some organic pears. I've never liked these pears in the past. But um, I was hopeful, I don't know why. I just felt like, you know what, I'm gonna give these a go. So I got a bag of organic pears. So I also got a bag of little mini red potatoes. I think I'm gonna make some potato salad this week. And yeah, mini potatoes are easy to make potato salad out of. Um, the potato salad that's my favorite to make is kind of a um, version of the Pioneer Woman basil potato salad or pesto potato salad and it's lemony and pesto-y and I think that it's so good. So I'm considering making that this week with these. I got some oranges because I've been downing oranges like crazy. These are Cara Cara oranges. I really don't know the difference, but I love just slicing up oranges and once again, eating them on the side with my meals. Sometimes I'll have them by themselves just because I love I love oranges. All right, so next up, I have been craving coleslaw, um, and I haven't made it in like a month or so, and so I bought some coleslaw, so that's what I'm gonna make soonish in life. Um, I like my coleslaw to be made with like veganaise, apple cider vinegar. I love putting actual chunks of apple in my coleslaw. And once I make up a batch, I like having it like by itself, like a side of coleslaw. But then I also like sometimes putting my coleslaw on, on sandwiches. Um, and it's just tangy and crunchy and fresh. Like I'll make veggie BLTs and then I'll put coleslaw on top and it's so good. Or if I make another kind of salad, like a kale salad or something, um, or any salad really, if I have extra coleslaw, I'll dump that in the mix too. Or like tuna sandwiches or chickpea salad sandwiches, putting coleslaw on top is just so good. So I'll probably make the whole bag. And then like I said, keep it in the fridge and just use it however I wanna use it. So um, I also ended up getting a three bell peppers, two yellow, one orange. And I think I told you guys this, I read that the highest vitamin C comes in the yellow bell peppers and the orange bell peppers, but particularly the yellow ones. And so once again, these are not organic. So I'm gonna probably, I know I'm going to soak them in my fruit and veggie soak. Um, and yeah, even though they were grown not organic, I think that's just probably helpful. And I'll use these maybe to chop up to eat with my hummus or chop up for my eggs, omelets, something like that. Um, maybe for a Mexican bowl. I had a Mexican bowl the other night and you know, peppers are great, grilled peppers in Mexican inspired bowls, tacos, burritos, 
all of that jazz just <laughs> and then last but not least i got a 12 pack of passion fruit sparkling Lacroix. if you've never tried the passion fruit sparkling Lacroix, it is so good i think it's my favorite flavor of Lacroix, and they're kind of hard to find but they had a ton at aldi so i was pretty excited to get my hands on this because i love the passion fruit Lacroix. all right guys so that is it i hope that you enjoyed this video if you didn't see my other grocery hauls i'm gonna have that like playlist linked down below if you're like in the grocery haul mood and if you have any requests for other stores go ahead and let me know i'm thinking of doing kroger next but let me know what you think. The bill for today's grocery haul was about $61. I think it was like $60.85 or something like that. So I know a lot of you guys have been interested in finding out like just how much everything costs. So that is the total. Um, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. That lets me know not only what you like, but it also helps out my channel and helps to grow our community. And don't forget to check my info boxes because I have been doing this every single video. I've been doing like these, I call them semi-secret slash not so secret giveaways where I'm giving away um, mystery boxes and essential oils to you guys, to the people that are staying all the way to the end and paying attention or checking out my info boxes just to say, thank you i appreciate your support so much and even after doing this for over eight years it never grows old to me the fact that i not only have this community with you guys of people that are into the same things that i'm into but on top of that the fact that this is able to be my job is still like literally dan and i talk about this all the time i'm like i'm mind blown so i appreciate you guys so much and the fact that we have this community from all around the world is like still crazy to me so i will see you guys back here hopefully very soon have a great rest of your day and that's all bye